It was the day Michael Brown was to start his first day of college. Instead, it became the day he would be buried. Outside of Friendly Temple Missionary Baptist Church, ironically located on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive, throngs of journalists and media workers fought to get through the church doors. Family and community members who are there to show support are left in the blazing heat for hours as men guarding the doors bar many of them from entering, as they cannot differentiate them from those who are there to report on the funeral. Initially, it was announced by Brown's parents that the service would be open to the public, but they later decided to make it private. You got people out here that's trying to get in. While hundreds waited outside in the scorching heat, conversations about the movement born out of Michael Brown's death were sparked. I lost two nephews in one day. But look what we keep allowing to happen. We I know we allow this to happen. You need to vote. Years. Voting voting is after the fact. Who after are you voting fact. for? We have yeah. to place ourselves in a position to be voted for. Right. Voting for an individual that you think is in your best interest. I'd rather vote for you. Yeah. I'd rather vote for you. They're going to give us justice. Believe me. They're going to give it to us. But I learned something that justice is something you can't ask for. Justice, you got to take it. That's right. Uh, justice is something you can't earn. I think we earned that. That's right. All the women you don't gave up for 400 years of pressure. We should earn that. Teach. That's our judgment. You giving the, the past all the money. Right. We could be putting the jobs in the community so we can work. Right. We could be taxpaying citizens. I got a job, but that ain't good enough. Right. And we all need jobs. Right. But the thing we need ownership. We don't need leadership. We need ownership. However, most came out to show their respects for Michael Brown and show solidarity. What made y'all come out here today? We were showing respect, you know, to Michael Brown mm -hmm. and his family. And we want, you know what I'm saying, justice. So support. I go to Sumner High School. Uh -huh. And um, I walked all the way back to school, well, all the way from school to get to her just to, you know, participate and support Michael Brown. I mean, we just want to <clears throat> kind of show our support, um, kind of learn more about it, um, be exposed to uh, just being out here, uh, not accept what we just hear and see on the news, but come and see for ourselves. Off camera, members of the crowd mentioned to The Real News that they believe the same behavior displayed by the media at a previous event caused the family to bar a majority of the press from the funeral. During the Peace Fest event that was held the day before the funeral, attendees say that members of the media swarmed the families of Trayvon Martin and Michael Brown. Their actions were described as abrasive and insensitive by those present. I mean, everybody's scarred, everybody's hurt. And I mean, everybody doesn't like that all the media is here and everything that's going on because, you know, they still have an everyday life. You know, some people just go to hotels and go back to their uh, places, but they have to deal with all the noise and stuff of everybody being outside of their houses and stuff. And so I understand where they're coming from, but um, we actually need this attention so it won't go away. You know what I'm saying? So it won't just fall apart. We need to keep stay on it. So. Inside the church, there was little focus on the life of the slain 18-year-old, and rather much more focused on how his death became a rallying cry. Famous civil rights speakers addressed the mourning crowds. Directors Spike Lee and other Hollywood stars were also in attendance. As the media and anxious crowds waited in the sweltering heat, community members handed out water, and a neighboring church provided a place for people to rest as they watched a video stream of the funeral. As attendees of Michael Brown's funeral spilled out of the doors, it was hard to find members of Brown's immediate family. Instead, Michael's grieving parents were lost amidst the sea of media workers fighting over one another for a shot. Hey, Spike Lee! Rebel shot there! Spike Lee! Michael Brown's name was buried by local screaming for pictures of Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton as the crowd caught glimpses of the prominent figureheads pouring out of the building. Al Sharpton, we love you! We love you, Al Sharpton! One reporter screamed to Mrs. Brown a question, to which she quietly replied, I just want to bury myself. As the movement continues to build, one of the most televised funerals of the year had little to do with Michael Brown and more to do with the legacy he left behind. This is Megan Sherman with The Real News, reporting from Ferguson, Missouri.